Tusker Project Fame <laughs> Season 5 receives 5 million Kenyan shillings from Tusker. A recording contract from Universal Music Group. A 43-inch LCD TV and home theatre system from Samsung. One year's Crystal Health medical cover from Resolution Health. Close protection bodyguard services for one year from G4S. And a scholarship from Maranatha College. Tusker, refresh your roots. Last week on Tusker Project Fame 5. Thank you, Mr. DJ. Probation. Nancy, baby. Probation. Sharon, step forward. You're on probation. One of you is safe and one of you is on probation. Doreen, you're safe. The search for East Africa's biggest star continues. Africa, welcome to Tusca Project Fame 5. Moja kwa moja kutoka Tusca Academy. Mimi ni Sheila Mwaniga na ni fahari kubwa sana kuwa pamoja nanyi. <laughs> ah, suku mawiki, kesho, jina langu Dr. Mitch. Leo ni eviction night. <laughs> eh, Sheila, unasikia? Unasikia? Kili? Where? Who don't focus? Focus. Okay. okay. Well, Kiswahili is rocket science for some of us. Yeah. Tonight, what's going to be happening on this stage is even tougher. Four contestants have been on probation, and one of them will have to say goodbye at the end of the show. So, the question is, who are we going to be saying kwaheri, goodbye, or maybe au revoir too? Well, um, before we do that, you got to know the, the logistics of the game. We've got seven contestants left. Four of them are on probation, and there's a grand prize. We're talking about big money. Five million Kenya shillings plus a recording contract. Indeed, and all week long, you've been voting for your favorite contestant. It's about your vote, but it's not just you who's going to be saving somebody. The faculty will be making a call, and so will the safe contestants. But, you know, before we start off the competition, we need to know who are the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges for Tusker Project Fame, Season 5, Judge Ian! <laughs> Judge Juliana! And Judge Herman! Welcome judges, we'll be touching base with you a little later tonight. They had a lot of work to do last week, but we're here because of the decisions that they made. Now, the week in the Tusker Academy, Mitch, this week there was a theme, and the theme was creativity. It's all about the contestants learning how to create their own songs, put a little bit of their heart, soul, and personality in these songs, yeah. and tomorrow night, we'll get to listen to their exclusive compositions. Uh, in fact, when you do talk about creativity, you know you can't do it alone. Sometimes you have to put heads together. And they were really, really blessed to have Chris Adwar come in and, you know, come and give them some talent, huh? Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Do you have my song completed? Hi. Hey, hmm? good to see you again. Good to see you too. Fire in my dreams Whenever I lay my head to sleep Me a heart cuts down and it can be fun Me lucky just a blessing on my life Nancy. I love you. Wait, close my eyes. <laughs> I think you should take jeans between the bottles of Tasca you're having, please. And Mistakes. Okay. Two minutes, yeah. just like Jorin. Okay. Jorin. Even when Juliana tells you good news, you still go on probation. <laughs> this one, Joseph. Wait, that's a kululuta. Kira de. 
Academy. It looks like these guys get up to so much fun, but trust me, there's a lot of work that happens as well. Judges, I see you are settled. Tonight and tomorrow, we'll be celebrating creativity. Judge Hermes, how important is it for a singer to write their own music? Well, I think it's very important if you're able to write your own music, because there you, you can actually express how you feel, and actually people will get to know the kind of person you are, your thinking and everything. Not saying that others are not, especially the people that write for people, don't do a good job, but when you write for yourself, you understand everything. You understand yourself, you understand your vocal ability, you understand what you want to tell the people in your audience. All right, thank you, Hermes. Judge Juliana, when it comes to being an artist, do you have to, have to, have to write your songs? Can't you just be a really good singer and leave it at that? Um, you know, it depends on the artist. Uh, I think it's a, a balance between two things. You, if you know you're a good songwriter, yes, you can write songs for yourself. And if you're not, these people who can write songs for you, we've got some of the biggest divas in the world, like Whitney Houston, Mariah. They didn't have songwriters, but if you have the ability to write songs for yourself, it's a plus because it gives you the opportunity to express yourself, express your feelings directly from you. All right. Thank you, Judge Juliana. Ian, have you written any songs? Sorry? Have you written any songs? Yes, I have. Oh, sing one. Oh, give us the name. <laughs> At the very least. Just one. Half. Mary had a little laugh. I'm paid to sing. <laughs> Ooh, not right. Okay, let's move along. Mitch, Ian is paid to sing. Yes. But that songwriting thing. Yes. Wait fast, we'll get back to him. Definitely. There's something I still need to do, Ian. I need to help you get some followers on Twitter. Okay. And I want everyone to ask Ian for the name of this song. You can find Ian at TPF Judge Ian. <laughs> ask him that question. And Juliana, you can say something to the lovely lady tonight at TPF Judge Juliana. She's online. And Judge Hermes, you can join in on the conversation with Judge Hermes at TPF Judge Hermes is his Twitter handle. You can also find more action and entertainment by logging on to our website. It's tusca.com. On Facebook, activity is kicking up, I see. It's facebook.com forward slash Tuscalaga. And finally, Last week, Mitch was in a half about followers. You've been sufficiently philanthropic, thank you very much. Lakini naomba serikali. Mtarudi lini, mtahama lini. You can come back home. At TPF Sheila is where you can find me. Mitch, it's over to you. Ha. So I see there's corruption in this nation. Huh? <laughs> Sheila, if you have to tell them my handle. My handle is at TPF, D-R-M-I-C-H. Don't miss out. And me, I give out free things. Kitu eh? kidogo. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, seriously, I think it's time for us to get on with the show. So why don't we welcome on the contestants who are safe. Let's give it up for Doreen Jackson and Ruth. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, these contestants are going to be sitting pretty. They have got nothing to do tonight but to rest and relax. Big round of applause. And then we got the contestants who are on probation. Let's give it up for Sharon, Steve, Nancy, and Big Joe. Yep, these are the contestants who are in the line of fire tonight. They are going to be shooting songs right, left, and center. Doreen, you look lovely. Wow, uh, I thought, I thought, that purple thing was only for last week. You, today you could have gone back. What happened? It was a transformation from last week going on. So now you're never going to be pr the purple diva again. Blood is still purple. Oh, I see. Okay, no, but now, um, tell me something. People were telling me that this entire week actually you were unhappy, that you were down and dismal because you are not on probation. Huh? <laughs> uh, you, you feel like there's something missing in your life. Huh? Huh? I, I'm just wondering, is, is that so? 
No, it's not. Plus, I was too busy. Oh, yeah, speaking of being busy, fact, take a look at what was happening in the academy during the week. Yes. Le massage, le good. Le fabulous. <laughs> wow. I can see you're really busy, huh? huh? Uh, but, um, so I heard you guys even came up with, with names for each other, like, you know, Doreen plus Joe became Joreen, huh? huh? Uh, like, like, look, imagine if it was me and Sheila, it would be like, like, Smitch or, or, or Mila, huh? What, what, what do you think, Sheila? Well, Mitch, <laughs> at Chazo, that's not going to happen. We've got the contestants in the house. We've got the judges in the house. Let's introduce and welcome the faculty, starting with the band. Hey, Aaron and guys, how are you doing? Ready for tonight? BGVs, you look excellent. I hope you sound as good. And, of course, the faculty. You spend so much time with the contestants. Principal Helen, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> you look wonderful. <laughs> Musical director RK. How are you doing? What's up with the Michael Jackson? Cool, beat man. it, beat it, beat it. I like it. It's my new swag, man. Hey, swag. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Coach Kavbusa. Yes. Looking radiant, Thank as you. always. Thank you. Karibusana. Coach Edu. How's it? It's good. Happiness. RK, I've got a question for you because tonight and this week, it's about creativity. Yes. Hermes says it's good for an artist to write their songs so that they can express themselves. Mm -hmm. As a music producer, does it work better when the artist writes their music? It actually does work much better when an artist is able to write and express uh, what they're feeling inside and share their experiences. Uh, though it's not necessarily the only way because sometimes also somebody else can give you a good story to oh. sing about. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. We hope the contestants do you proud. Mitch, it's over to you. So, tell me something. Big Joe, you're, you're, you're next up. He, yeah. He's gonna be doing a traditional African song. Everybody loves this song, but he's gonna put a reggae twist into it, huh? But instead of just saying goodbye, commercial break, we wanna do it in a special way, okay? More than a superstar. Hey. Hey. <laughs> More than a superstar. More than a superstar. All right. Now. You know, Tusker Project fame is unique. It's, it's sort of like survival for the fittest. You know, when you get on probation, you need to struggle to make it. Now, what do you do? You gotta fight for votes. Now, what happens is that we've got four contestants who are on probation this weekend. They had to go out there and solicit. It's not like campaigning. They had to kiss babies, you know, shake hands, you sign autographs and the rest. Check out what happened at Club Silk in Nairobi. You're the only chance. I have left to stay in the academy. Please. Finally here, quite a number of people out here mm. totally convinced that you're going to be their wife. <laughs> so what's all this okay. nonsense you've got going on with Steve then? Nothing is going on. Please! So we are doing I'd like to send out a special shout to everybody down at Tortillas, or other people call it Tortillas, depending on which pre-primary nursery school you went to. But um, tonight, that's where the eviction party is going to be, and I'm sure the next contestant who comes on stage doesn't want to end up there. In fact, let's check him out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Big Joe. Uh, my first time on probation, actually, it was good, it was fun, and I learned much. I saw, I went to meet fans and it was very fun to see how uh, people are supporting me. I have improved um, and I would like to show that I have improved tonight. I don't want to be evicted. 
I will do everything I can, but I don't want to be evicted. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an African classic, man, but this time it's got a real twist. Reggaeton de Maguan one time, if you didn't feel this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joe Irankunda. <laughs> Zambi kwa mungu baba, kama unipende weye, wende lote mama. Kama unipende weye, wende lote mama. Yeah. Blow, 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 blow. I and I feel safe. Be them corner me one time, man. Rasta man with no dreadlocks, Hermes. <laughs> Why you say, man? Why you say? <laughs> What's up, Joe? Good, good. How are you feeling today? Good, good. Um, I think you did better today compared to last week. Um, a bit of an, impro of an improvement, and I, I, I like the way you were enjoying the song, and the band was doing a good job. Thank you. BGV's good as well. Great, great. And Ian, what, what do you think the performance, huh? Very, very much improved.